Hello! In this tutorial we are going to create this. It's a pretty straightforward top-down driving game where we can press the space button and we start the car and it drives and we can press left and right to move the car left and right. And we have fairly decent driving mechanics for the car. Not perfect, but it's working for a basic driving mechanic. And most importantly, we are going to use vectors to drive the car, which is a whole new topic in Pygame that I'm going to talk a little bit about. Let's jump right in. And this is a topic that is getting a little bit more advanced in Pygame. So if you're completely new to the program, you probably want to check out these two videos at the very least. A basic introduction to Pygame and an introduction to sprites in Pygame. Both are really helpful for you to understand what's going on in this video. And besides that, I also made a video about rotating stuff in Pygame, which I'm also going to use in this video. So these videos are going to help on more specifics. So here we have a very simple setup for Pygame. And we already have one sprite class that I have called car. And this is going to be our main car. And for now it doesn't do much, it just gets a surface that are called original image that imports an Audi PNG that is in the same folder as the code. Then we put this original image on an image so that our sprite has a surface. And what I forgot to add here is self.rect is self.image.get rect and center. I think I put it at let's say 640 and 360. So basically what happens is that we are importing an image, putting this image on the screen and putting a rectangle around the screen. It's essentially a simple sprite class. And the only reason I separated these two lines is because we need to rotate this surface. And whenever we rotate something in Pygame, it loses a bit of quality. And to prevent the quality loss, we split these two into different files that we can rotate one and save the image in another surface. I explained the entire logic in another video. Check this one out if you want more details on this. But besides that, our code so far doesn't do anything. Because right now we are not using the class whatsoever and we're not even drawing a background image. Let's start with that one actually. The first thing I want to do is import a background image. And that's already giving us the track we want to drive on. And I call this one BG track. And this is pygame.image.load. And I call the file track.png. And this PNG file I'm just going to put as a background picture, so screen.blit bg track bg underscore track and I'm gonna put this on the top left of the screen. And with that one, we already have our racing track. Obviously nothing's going to happen if we don't drive on it, it's just a picture. But that's not the important part. The important part is our car itself. And for now, let's just create the car and put it on the screen and then we can worry about actually moving it. And the first thing I want to do is to create our new car. I'm going to create this with car and it actually doesn't need a width and a height. That was a leftover. So that's all we need to create the car. Now we need to put this car into a class and I'm going to call this cars and this is pygame.sprite.group single and then cars.add car. So this is a pretty basic setup for a group. We first create a sprite object, then we create a group, and then we add the sprite object to the group. And now in our game loop, we need cars.draw and on what surface we want to draw on, the screen. And with that, we can see our car on the screen. It's quite large right now. We're gonna work on that in just a bit. But there's first one more thing that we can simplify this thing quite a bit. Because all we really need is to put this car into this group single. Because whatever is being passed into here is automatically added to this group. And once we have that, we can get rid of these two lines and call this car. And car. And this simplifies the entire code quite a bit and it's a much easier way of writing all of this. So if I run the code now, we get the very same result. And with that one done, let's actually work on the car movement and rotation. And I'm going to start by just rotating the car if I press left and right. And after that's done, we're going to get to moving the car. So let's rotate the car. And there are a couple more attributes I need to do this. The first one is self.angle. And by default, this is going to be zero. So this is the angle the car is going to be looking at. And the second one is self. I call this rotation speed. And this is effectively how fast the car can rotate. And let me write this in all lowercase letters. 
and I went with 1.8. You can go with a lower or higher speed. Just experiment with the code and see what looks good. And there's one more attribute we need, and that it's self.direction. And by default, this is none. And this is the attribute that we are going to influence with our keyboard input. Which is going to happen down here in the event loop. And what I want to do is if event.type is equal to pygame.keyDown. So if you press any button down, and then if event.key it's equal to pygame.kWrite. And we also want one for key left. And then we want to do the same thing when we lift the key up again. And I'm going to add code to all of these in just a bit. So key up. So now we need to add code to these four different lines to actually give some indication of what the car needs to do when we press a button. And here's the logic I came up with. Our direction can take three different values. One, zero, and minus one. If it's one, then the car is going to rotate right. If it's minus one, the car is going to rotate left. And if it's zero, it's not going to rotate at all. And whenever we press the right key on our keyboard, we're going to add one to our direction. And when we lift up the right key, we're going to subtract one from it. And then the opposite logic for key left. And the major reason for that is that if you press both left and right, you're going to get zero. So the car is moving in a straight line. And now let's implement all of this. And the one mistake I made, this shouldn't be none, this should be zero, obviously. So now let's go through this step by step. The first thing I want to do is when we press key right, I want to add one to this direction. And to get to this attribute, we first need to target the group itself and then the sprite inside of this group single. So what we need is car.sprite. And this is something that only works for single groups. If you have a normal sprite group, this is not going to work because only in a single group can you target the sprite inside of the group. But now we have the object itself, so now we can just go direction. And what I want is plus equal one. And then for key left, we have the exact opposite, that we want minus equal one. And then for key right, we want minus one, so we do the opposite. And then for key left, we want plus one again. So with this logic, what's basically going to happen, if we press key right, this is gonna be one, and if we lift up key right again, it's going to get minus one. So this direction is going to be zero again. So effectively, when we press key right, the car is going to move right. If we lift up the right key again, the car is going to move straight again because direction is zero. And with that one, we actually have to implement some logic that if this direction has different values, we are getting different directions. And for that, I need to define a new method that I call set rotation. It needs self as always as an argument. And in here, we are going to need quite a few different if statements. And the first one is if self.direction is equal to one. So we're going to move right. Then self.angle is going to be minus equal self.rotation speed. And the reason why this is negative is because Pygame rotates counterclockwise. So if you want to go right, you have to go negative. If you want to go left, you have to go positive. And going left is exactly what we are going to do next. So if self.direction is negative one, then we want to add towards our angle. But for now, our angle is just a value. We have to apply this value to our image. And this is gonna come next. I'm gonna go with self.image is equal to pygame.transform.row2zoom. And again, for the entire rotation stuff, I've made a separate video for this. If you're confused about the logic here, check out the other tutorial. It's going to help immensely to explain all of this in much more detail. All right, this rotor zoom takes a surface and it gives us a new surface that we're gonna store on the image. And then this image is gonna be shown to the user in the end. And the surface I want is self dot original image. And next up, we need the amount of rotation, which is self dot angle. So self dot angle. And then since RotoZoom can both rotate and scale, we need to scale, which in our case is going to be 0.25. And with that, we would already be getting a car that is rotating left and right and is much smaller. But there's one more line we need, and that is self.rect, self.image.getRect. And the center 
is going to be self.rect.center. Basically what this line is for is that whenever we rotate something in Pygame, we change the focal point, so the point where we rotate around. And to keep it in the center, we take the center from the last rectangle and apply it to the rectangle we create from this new image. But with that one, we have a rotation. So if I create an update method now, and go with self.setRotation, and in the code I also need to car.update, and now this should be working. So let's try it. And we have an error because I have a typo. So let's try it again now. And we have another typo because we copied the line. Okay, and now if I press right, we move to the right. If I press left, we move to the left. So this is a good start. But now we need to cover another subject. Now let's say when I press space, I move the car forwards in the direction it is facing right now. And for that, we need vectors. And I haven't covered vectors yet, but they are quite important for game development. So let's talk about 2D vectors. Effectively, what they are is a line in a 2D space. So you start from one point and you end up in a different point. And they only really have two major attributes. One is the magnitude, so how long the line is, and then you have an angle, so what rotation you have. And then this entire vector can be expressed with two numbers, how far you go in the x direction and how far you go in the y direction. And then this vector just consists of these two numbers. And this vector you can use in lots of different circumstances. And there are lots of inbuilt functions into Pygame to make use of it quite a bit. The way we are going to use it is that we are going to rotate this vector in a certain direction, whichever the car is facing. And then when we press space, we want to move the car in the direction this vector is facing. But this is only a very basic application of vectors. Check out other tutorials. There's lots more stuff you can do with vectors. They are incredibly powerful. But in our case, we just want to move the car. So let's implement all of that. So here I'm back in my code. And let me close the rotation method because we don't need it anymore. And there are two more attributes I want to add to it. The first one is the actual vector. And this is gonna be self dot, I called it forward. And to create a vector in Pygame, we need pygame.math.vector2. So this is a two-dimensional vector. And the two-dimensional vector has two attributes, an x and a y coordinate. So basically how far it moves in the horizontal space and how far it moves in the vertical space. And in my case, I want to go with 0 and minus 1. And what this means is that we don't move on the horizontal space, and in the vertical space we're going upwards, because minus 1 in Pygame is always upwards. And the reason I've chosen those two is because when I run the game, by default our car is pointing upwards. And that's literally the only reason. And besides that, I also want one attribute I called active. And by default, this one is false. And when this one is true, I want to move the car forwards. So this is basically the direction. And if this one is true, we want to move a certain amount of pixels in this direction. And the first thing we need is some input to make this true which happens again down here in the event loop. And what I want to do is if event.key is equal to pygame.keySpace. And if that is true, then I want car.sprite.active is equal to true. And then when we lift up the key, then it's going to get to false. So all that happens is if we press space, then active becomes true. If we lift up space, then it becomes false again. So the car is only going to drive when we press the space bar. Once we lift the space bar, the car stops moving. It's not the most realistic kind of car mechanic, but it's a basic start. Now we need to give our car a method that it moves in the direction of the vector. And for that, we are going to need a couple of things. Let's go through them step by step. The first one is a method I called get rotation. And this one itself as usual. And this method is to rotate this vector in the direction the car is facing. So when we use this rotation here, we only rotate the picture of the car. But to move it in a certain direction, we also have to rotate this vector by the same amount. And that is going to look quite similar. So if self.rotation is equal to 1, then we want to move this vector to the right. And this happens with self.forward.rotate 
IP. And IP stands for in place. So we are rotating this vector in the same spot. And it just needs one argument, and that is by how much we want to rotate it. I want to rotate this thing by self dot rotation speed. And that's all we need to rotate the vector to the right. Now, if I copy this, we need the same logic for the left. So if this one is minus one, then this also has to be negative because we're moving it left. And that's literally all we need to rotate this vector, this one here. Now we need to actually apply this vector to our car. And for that, I'm going to use another method that I called accelerate. Also need self as usual. And all we need in here is if self.active. So if it's true, then self.rect.center plus equal self.forward. And that is all we need. So now in our update method, all I need to add is self.get rotation and self self.accelerate. And now let's try this. And we're getting error because this shouldn't be rotation, this should be direction. I am making a ton of typos today. So let's try it again. And here we go. If I type now, we are moving upwards and we have a very weird movement dynamic. It kind of works, but not really. And this can be fixed quite easily. So let me explain why this is happening. Right now, when we apply the vector, the numbers inside of the vector are really small. So we have zero and minus one. And if you rotate them, they might get even smaller. So minus one might become something like minus 0.5. And since we're still moving in pixels, this would not move the car at all. And that is because for Pygame, these numbers are so small that it basically doesn't register them. So it just ignores them. So for quite a few numbers, the rotation is going to be ignored because the numbers are too small. But this can be fixed really easily. All we need is to multiply our vector by basically any number. I went with five. And if I run this code now, we have our car mechanic. This is actually working quite well. And yeah. This works as intended. So it's not the most perfect car mechanic and there are a couple of bugs in there, but it's a pretty good beginning to get started on car mechanics. So I hope that was helpful and let me know if you have questions about it.